Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some sweet treats from the Dancing Deer Baking Company. These, uh, Dancing Deer is located in Boston, Massachusetts, but these were sent to us from Sarah in California, which I think is funny. So, Sarah gets them there, but I've never seen them here, unless they have them like- I wonder if they're a specialty market. Or Whole Foods or yeah, something, something like that, because we don't shop at Whole Foods a lot because number one, it's like 40 minutes away from us, and number two, it's very, very expensive compared to every place else. Or I would shop there, because uh, they have some cool stuff. Anyway, I don't know where she got these, but thank you, Sarah. Uh, this is the Salted Caramel Squares with Caramel Drizzle, and this is the Chocolate Chunk Brownies. And I had the Espresso Brownies with a touch of cinnamon. Ooh, okay. Uh, these are, one brownie is 230 calories. And I'm just gonna cut it straight across there because you're gonna have to put them in a Ziploc baggie anyway. Oh, they don't really have much smell. Salted caramel squares with caramel drizzle. They throw a little drizzle on. And I looked for a date on these and the place where the date was supposed to be does not have a date on it. Uh, and I looked at all three of them, used yep. by, and I did not see a date on any of them. What'd you think? It's good. I was waiting for you to chew yours on. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a... I think it's good. It's like a blondie. Brownie. It's That's not, what it tastes like. I don't. I would not identify that as salted caramel. I wouldn't either. I would call that a blondie. Yeah, just a regular blondie. It's but very I like good. It. Though. Yes, yeah, it's I like sweet. it. It's very good. I, I it's think, almost like a cookie. I think it's fresh, but I don't think it's like I think like like if you could get it freshly made on this day and you could get it to where it's stale. I think this is probably right in the, in the middle. middle because I bet you those are a lot softer when they're closer yeah, to Yeah, and you could probably room. microwave it for a few seconds and soften you it up probably a little could, bit. Probably good, I bet it would be delicious. Yeah. That's, that's, it's I very, like very it. good. It's not soft or caramel. It's just not but soft or caramel. But it is very good. Yeah. This is the chocolate chunk brownies and it is 250 calories. Both of these are 250 calories. Okay. Both the brownies. It says, for best quality, consume immediately or store in an airtight container mm -hmm in the refrigerator or a freezer. Okay, well, we'll have to put them, put them in the refrigerator. They, they broke apart real easy. Mmm. I like the chunk in there. Mm -hmm. That's a really good brownie. Yes, it is. It's, um, it reminds you of a homemade brownie. Mm-hmm. It has almost a, a cocoa flavor to it, mm -hmm. Those but, are but not too strong. You really get that chocolate, and like I, like I said, the, yeah, the chunks in there are make it. That chocolate chip, very, too. very good brownie. Okay, and you said, already said these are 250 calories as well. Espresso brownies with a touch of cinnamon, and this one says new recipe on it. The other ones don't say that. New recipe. So I'm assuming they had a different recipe. And maybe people didn't like it. I don't know what the deal was, and they came out with something new. That's yeah, a little crumbly, so it is. This, that one is a little drier feeling. I don't get espresso in either. I just get a hint of cinnamon. I don't get espresso either. No, I mean, I didn't get espresso at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, at all. And I don't, the cinnamon, I'm really good at picking up on cinnamon. Yeah, I don't taste so. Maybe a touch. I mean, it's very faint. So faint, it might as well not even be. And those are, those are kind of dry, that particular one. Got a little bit of a bitterness to it, too. I got more of the cinnamon in the second bite. Yeah. So maybe it just, it's whatever bite you get. It I did get a little bit cinnamon. more cinnamon in the second bite. 
Did not get any coffee flavor at all though? No, those wouldn't, I wouldn't get those again. No, because the, I mean, these definitely aren't espresso. These are probably my favorite. Yes, definitely chocolate chunk brownies are the best. Yeah, although the salted caramel is really good They're too. good, but they're they're not salted caramel, they're right. just blondies. They should sweet. just change the name of them. Huh. And these, they definitely need, they need a new, new recipe. A new, a new or <laughs> new, they need a version three. Yeah, they really do because they're not, and who's tasting these and saying they, they, they have got, a coffee flavor? I would assume they've got like an espresso bean. Let me smell it. They don't smell like any of that. No. Who <laughs> is taste testing these? Because they don't have any coffee flavor. No. Anyway, I tell you, if you get them, get the chocolate chunk brownie or get the salted caramel squares. Yeah, both those are really good. Very, very good. So thank you, Sarah. I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.